Hi, good morning, or actually good afternoon. Um, today I had to stay home from work because Olsen is sick. Um, he had pink eye, we think. Um, it cleared up really fast for the eye drops they gave us. They like worked really fast. We just gave him room last night and he seemed a lot better today. I did stay home today, so I've already done quite a few things. It is 1.37. I'm gonna make a juice. Um, one of my coworkers gave me a juicer and um, if you know me, you know I used to love to juice. I used to juice all the time. Um, and then some, like, I guess studies came out saying, like, it wasn't as, like, healthy as, like, people thought it was. And then I kind of, like, got off the juicing kick. But I think every once in a while, like, a juice is good for you. And it's a good way for, like, nutrients to absorb right into your bloodstream. Um, so that's why I wanted to make one today because Olsen's been pretty sick. So I'm going to make just like a standard green juice and I'm going to see if he likes it. So I'm a little nervous to <laughs> test that out on him because I have no idea if he's going to like it or not. Um, I am feeding him lunch right now. He's making an absolute mess. Can you say hi? He is making an absolute mess. I put some like cucumber, some apples, a little bit of mozzarella cheese, um, and then I'm gonna give him the juice too. If he's still hungry, I'll give him more later, but he's literally throwing all of the cucumber on the floor, um, as you can see. Anyway, um, I've been filming on my phone because my camera's been dead, and I really like editing on my phone rather than on my computer. It's so much easier. Um, I'm having a little trouble though trying to figure out how to export it to YouTube, but I'll figure it out. Um, yeah, in the meantime, I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna put in my juice. So first of all, excuse my messy kitchen. I got like an Amazon package, so I was like unpacking it, and then I'm like in the midst of like, I made breakfast, and I'm gonna put some stuff away, and yeah. Anyway, here is the juicer that I'm using today. This is like the, the Breville. And then it has that fat, sick, and nearly dead sticker. So I, I think this is the one he used. So the ingredients that we have, I have two cucumbers, a green apple, some kale, and then some celery. And then we also have a lemon. So that's all going to go in Olsen's. And then at the end, I'm going to add some ginger into mine. I don't want to put, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to put ginger in his because... It's a little spicy and I don't want to like totally like freak him out and also I don't think babies can have ginger. Wow, I thought I was recording that whole time, but it didn't record, so. There's the juice. And this is without the ginger, because I'm gonna give Olsen the one without ginger. Mm. Okay, so I just put some of it in here and I tasted it and it's so yeah. good. So let's see if he likes it. Try, <gasps> you gonna try the juicy? <laughs> is that a yes or a no? Oh my god. All right, so yeah, there we go. So you hate it? I mean, it's cool to try new things, right? I don't think he's a fan. All righty. Well, you know what? Mommy's going to drink it because it's delicious and you're missing out. Okay, now I'm going to add the ginger into the rest of it because ginger has a lot of healing properties. There's, it's full of antioxidants and you should look it up because it's really good for you if you're sick. Um, but a little goes a long way. So I'm just going to do like these two little chunks and see if that's good. 
I added the ginger. Just gonna give it a little mix real quick, make sure it's all. Let's see, Um, looks like it's, I don't know. Oh, milliliters and fluid ounces. So this is, this is about 18 fluid ounces that is what I made. And honestly, the one I just gave Olsen tasted so good. I haven't made a juice in forever. <gasps> That's a 16 ounce glass, so yeah, there's about maybe like 20 ounces. Okay, I'm gonna try it with the ginger now. Mama. That is so good. Yeah, if you're gonna make a juice, you have to make it and like drink it right away. Cause if you let it sit, it goes bad really fast. They say to like not, if you're gonna keep it to drink it within 24 hours, but I like to drink it like as soon as it's done. That was the sound of him throwing that cup again. You really don't like the juice, do you? Uh, we bought this like camera on Amazon. Olsen's holding it, I'm trying to show. So we bought this little camera on Amazon and it's called a, like a Wise. I'll, I'll like link it down below, but um, yeah, it's like a cheaper option for a baby monitor because baby monitors are like $100. This was $30 and it just Bluetooths to your phone. So I'm going to like stick it up on the wall and get it set up and then I'm um, going to see how it works. Okay, I just got that set up. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, so far, I definitely recommend it over spending $100 on a baby camera. Um, it just like stuck to my, like to the wall. And then you can use a hair dryer to like get the adhesive off when you're done with it. Um, so obviously like you could go on Pinterest and like look up how to take care of sick baby. His nose is running right now. But I was going to tell you a few of the things that I've been doing to help me um, soothe him like since he's been sick. I got more boogie wipes. We go through these so quickly. Um, he hates getting his nose like wiped even like by these. I mean honestly. But these make it a lot easier because they're gentle. They are made with all natural saline and they smell really really good. Um, I've always bought the other, they, there's like two different kinds, the kind in the white packet and the kind in the orange. This is just like, Amazon had this like, with a pack. Oh yeah, these don't have the scent. The other ones smell really, really good, but it doesn't matter. If you've got a sick kid, definitely get some of these. They're like really soft, they're like uh, moist towelettes, so it makes wiping their nose like a lot easier than using what we've been using, which is just like tissue. So yeah, you can see like I hung the camera right there and he can't reach the cord and then it shows like right into his crib. Um, the other thing I've been doing to help him feel better is using this cool mist humidifier in his room. And that's the reason I put this tray here, honestly, was for that humidifier. So it's going like right out over him when he's sleeping. And this is also something I bought on Amazon that I can link down below. Another humidifier that I bought on Amazon. This one though, um, it, it's like a mister, essential oil mister. It really doesn't like do much for like helping them breathe, but you can put essential oil in it. Here is one of my essential oils. That's the eucalyptus one. I like lavender and peppermint as well. Um, and I also got both of these things on Amazon. Um, as for medicine, um, he's done amoxicillin from the doctor, but honestly, like, that hasn't helped at all. Um, I've been giving him this Zarbies. It's just a cough syrup plus mucus. Um, I've gone through one whole one of these since he's been sick. Um, since he's been sick since, like, September. I don't give this to him every day, but I do give it to him usually on the days he goes to daycare. If he's, like, really, really congested. And then I've also been doubling with these... Um, boogie drops. Sorry, it's backwards because I'm on my phone, but these are by the same brand as those boogie wipes And I just like put them like up his nose. It's just like a saline drop and um, I just hope that it helps him like breathe easier Yeah, it pretty much just like sucks when your kid is sick because You have to like miss work and like you just want them to like feel better you feel bad for them You like, you know, obviously you can't really you can only do so much, but um yeah, forget what I was gonna say. I think he wants a snack. Oh yeah, I was gonna say like the other thing you can do to just help them feel better is just giving them like a good, healthy, balanced diet with like lots of fluid. Yes, he agrees. 
Um, so like I've just been offering him water like all day and just trying to get him to drink as much fluid as possible. Here you go, honey. Oh um, my. Yeah, so tonight I'm actually gonna make some homemade chicken noodle soup. Um, I'm hoping that will help him a little bit too. It always makes me feel better. Um, and Matt's been a little sick as well. So I think we're all gonna enjoy the chicken noodle soup. It's also like 40 degrees outside. So it's gonna be nice to have something like warm to eat. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> say, say, um, baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark. What about? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Um, also, shout out to Tiffany Beeston for the, oh shoot, Mom and Annie. Uh. That's, that's yours, right? Look outside at Ivy. Is Ivy out there? Okay, so it's almost five and I decided to start cooking dinner. Um, I think me and Matt are having steaks tonight, but I'm wanting to cook the chicken noodle soup anyway so Olsen can eat it and I can have it for lunch for the rest of the week. Um, in this one, we just have some garlic, onion, carrots, and celery. Um, they're just kind of like steaming and like cooking through. And then right here, I have cut up three chicken breasts, and I added some butter, some garlic salt, pepper, parsley, a little bit of basil, and I am just letting these chickens cook through, and then I'm going to end up adding it into my veggie pot in a little bit. After I cook the chicken, I just add it into the veggie mix, and then I'm going to go ahead and add in the chicken broth. So after I add the broth, I kind of just let it like simmer for a while. And just let all the flavors like really blend together and then i'm gonna go in and add the egg noodles after it's like kind of at a boil okay so i added the egg noodles and it turned out so good there's olsen's and then i'm just kind of yep you just did that but <laughs> i'm just kind of putting his on his tray and letting him pick through it he loves to feed himself i really hope the chicken noodle soup helps him feel better um i think it's like 6 30 right now and i'm gonna start getting him ready for bed as soon as we're done eating um yeah pretty chill night matt is really sick so he's in the bed he got home from work and he just like had to lay down so yeah that's pretty much our um the whole video um, just like day in the life, how to make your kid feel better when they're sick kind of feels. Um, uh, I'm gonna get this edited and then probably post it in a few days. I just uploaded another video right before this, so I'm doing good with uploading. <laughs> uh, yeah, other than that, um, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.